Anakin Skywalker. The most powerful Jedi of his generation. The fastest. The strongest. He is the best there is. Perhaps the best there will ever be. The Holonet calls him the hero with no fear. But fear lives inside him anyway, chewing away at the firewalls around his heart. Children on Tatooine tell stories of the dragons that live inside the planet's twin suns. Those that power everything from starships to pod racers. But Anakin's fear is another kind of dragon. A cold kind. A dead kind. But not nearly dead enough. Years ago, a minor mission had brought them to a fringe system. One so immeasurably old that its star had long ago turned into a frigid dwarf. Anakin couldn't remember what the mission might have been. But he'd never forgotten that dead star. It had scared him. Stars can die? He knew then that everything dies, and in time, even stars burn out. This is the kind of fear that lives inside Anakin Skywalker, the dragon of that dead star. Every day, he wrestles with his dragon. But for all his strength, he can't push back. He's losing, and nothing can stop the ancient, cold, dead voice within his mind that whispered in his darkest moments, all things die. But within his agony, an invisible hand stretched outward, and he found her, far away, alone in the dark. And for an instant, he was her. He was the beating of her heart, and he was the motion of her lips, and he was her soft words as though she spoke a prayer to the stars and her purity, and her passion, and the truth of her love flowed into him and through him. And every atom of his being screamed to the Force, how can I let her die? The Force had no answer for him. The dragon did. All things die, Anakin Skywalker. Even stars burn out. Now, no wisdom of Yoda's, no teaching of Obi-Wan's, not one scrap of Jedi lore came to him that could choke the dragon down. But there was an answer. One he had, for years, hidden from sight. Anakin stopped. His agony evaporated. It was simple. All he had to do was decide what he wanted. The dragon again tried to whisper a failure, of weakness, of inevitable death. But with one hand he caught it, crushed away its voice, and broke its power with a single effortless twist. I am Darth Vader, he repeated, as he ground the dragon's corpse to dust beneath his mental heel, as he watched the dragon's dust and ashes scatter before the blast from his furnace heart. And you, you are nothing at all. He had become, finally, what they had all called him. The hero with no fear. This is Anakin Skywalker. This is Darth Vader. This is the fear of the dragon. Open your eyes, and the first dawn of light in your universe brings pain. The light burns you. It will always burn you. You can hear yourself breathing. It comes hard and harsh, and it scrapes at nerves already raw. But you cannot stop it. You cannot even slow it down. It is only when you start to speak, and another voice speaks for you, that you remember. You remember all of it. The dragon that brought forth Vader from your heart to slay. The cold venom in Vader's blood. The furnace of Vader's fury. And the black hatred of seizing her throat to silence her lying mouth. And there is one blazing moment in which you finally understand that there was no dragon. That there was no Vader. That there was only you. Only Anakin Skywalker. 
that it was all you. Is you. Only you. You killed her. You killed her because when you could have saved her, when you could have gone away with her, when you could have been thinking about her, you were thinking about yourself. It is in this blazing moment that you finally understand the trap of the dark side. The final cruelty of the Sith. Because now, yourself is all you will ever have. You rage and scream to crush the shadow who has destroyed you. But you are so far less now than what you were. You are more than half machine. You are like a painter gone blind. Composer on deaf. You can remember where the power was, but the power you can touch is only but a memory. Now the shadow is all you have left. Because the shadow understands you. The shadow forgives you. The shadow gathers you unto itself, and within your furnace heart, you burn in your own flame. This is how it feels to be Anakin Skywalker. Forever.